Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, a conference with the participation of Zare Sinanyan, will be held in Paris. The youth of Hankavan community of Artsakh are developing the homeland with their work. Kostadnapol owes its current appearance to Armenian architects. The court cancelled the project of opening a marble mine in the Mount of Yelani in Western Armenia. The U.S. carried out an operation in Iblit. There are certain victims, seven of whom were civilians. A group of Dersim Armenians from Western Armenia visit Yerevan. The Menuhe Canal is still used in one Western Armenia. Most Armenians think that Turkey and Azerbaijan are the main political threat to Armenia. On February 9, 2022, at 7 p.m. local time, a scientific conference of trade and economic relations between Armenia and France will be held in the city municipality of 15th Arrondissement of Paris, which will be attended by RHF Commissioner for Diaspora Affairs, Zareh Sinanyan. The conference is organized by the Armenian Movement. The conference will be broadcast online. An official delegation of Western Armenia will be present at the conference too. The Hengavan community of Martaket region of Artsakh was founded 100 and 150 years ago. The head of the Hengavan community, Lori Gabramian, says that in 1929, the settlement together with neighboring Vauhas was considered a united community, but in 2001, the villages separated. Abrahamian spoke about the community. The government of Republic of Armenia paid great attention to our village. Recently, major repairs have been carried out in homes of the families of the fallen soldier liberators, and new houses have been built for four families. There is a municipality and medical center and a celebration hall in the village that need to be repaired. Residents are provided with electricity. The community is not gasified. After receiving primary education, students continue their studies in the Vagoha school. There are many young people in the village who are thinking about the improvement of the motherland. All residents of the village are provided with work. They are also engaged in agriculture. Constantinople owes its present appearance to the Armenian architects who left the seal of their high art on the capital of sultans. Only the Balian family built more than 2,000 palaces, castles, including the great building in the history of East and a business cart of Turkey Dolma Bahce. This Baroque palace, which was competed with many European chambers, with its luxury was built by father and son Balians for 10 years in 1842-1853. Today in Dolma Bahce, along with many other treasures, there is a collection of paintings of Ivazovsky, about 23 canvases. Later, after hearing about the massacre of Armenians in Ottoman Empire, Ivazovsky threw into the sea all the prizes and awards received by the Turkish Sultan and vows never to visit Turkey again. A lawsuit was presented against the marble deposit of the territory of Mount Yilanli in Sebastia province of Western Armenia, in which the submitted report environmental impact assessed positively was cancelled. The court in the decision stressed that its area is holy for Alevites. The ministry and the construction company appealed to appeals chamber of the state council to overturn the court's decision. However, the appeals chamber also rejected the application, considered the court's decision lawful and anonymously upheld it on December 14, 2020. If the mine was opened, the rights of people living in the foot of the mountain, the wildlife of the mountain and the flora would be infringed. The decision is important for the point of view of safety of nature and the inhabitants of the region, and for the Alevites it is important in terms of face. U.S. troops in Iblit in northwestern Syria conducted an armed operation against the men associated with ISIS. The U.K.-based Syrian Human Rights Monitoring Group said at least 13 people were killed, including four children and three women. SOHR said it was the largest operation in northwestern Syria since the assassination of ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi in October 2019. A group of Dersim Armenians arrived in Yerevan from the Dersim province of Western Armenia on a working visit, including for the Armenian side of Dersim, Mihran Perkik and Asadur Balkins. For some of them, it was the first visit to the capital of Republic of Armenia. The children of Western Armenia who even now living in a cradle in the occupied Western Armenia during their visit to Yerevan had the good fortune to visit a number of historical and cultural places and get acquainted with the capital. It was very important for the Armenians of Dersim to visit the Armenian Genocide Memorial, the Genocide Museum, as well as the Edmiagin Cathedral. The guests also visited the Yerevan office of Western Armenia TV. They left Yerevan with good impression and expectations to visit again in the future. Nevertheless, it should also be remembered that a genocide committed against the Armenians took place in Western Armenia. 
Studying historical materials, Hajak Sirekanyan wrote on his Facebook page, Menua Kinalin one was built by Kin Menua, probably in 8th and 9th centuries, in order to supply the capital of Tushpa, one, with drinking and irrigation water. Length is 70 km, the wide is 4.5 m, and depth is 1.5 m. The canal is still in use. A description describing the construction of Kinal says, With the Chaldean power, Menua, the son of Ishbuini, the great king, the king of Biani, and Lord conducted this canal in the city of Tushpa. Turkeologist Varujan Gerameyan writes, The American organization IRI has published the latest result of the public opinion poll in Armenia, which was made in November-December 2021. Some of survey results are important in order to understand how the citizens of Armenia feel about relations with Turkey. Here are some results. The overwhelming majority of respondents consider Turkey and Azerbaijan to be countries that pose the main political threat to Armenia. The overwhelming majority considers their lot to be safe and an economic threat. Fortunately, the majority of Armenian population understands that Turkey and Azerbaijan are pursuing the goal of destroying Armenia as an independent political factor, and there is no question of real-world peace. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.